Hello and welcome to another episode of the Michigan Style Channel, the show that proves Michigan has style. I am very excited today we have an, a special episode for you. We're doing a children's style episode and we have a great boutique that's going to be on with us, Connie's Ooh. Children's Shop. And we also have a wonderful photographer, Kai Davis, who's going to give us great tips on how to take sweet pictures of our children. So stay tuned. And welcome back to the Michigan Style Channel. I am really excited. I'm sitting here with Denise from Connie's Children's Shop. Welcome, Denise. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. So tell me a little bit about the history of Connie's Children's Shop. You're located in St. Clair Shores, Michigan, right? Mm -hmm. My parents started the business in 1954. Wow. So we're celebrating 59 years. Oh my yeah, goodness, that's long so great. Time. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, my parents uh, named the store after my oldest sister, Connie, okay. who just turned 60. Oh, so. <laughs> I won't tell her you said <laughs> right. that. <laughs> so that's really the history. My parents started it 59 years ago, and we've been going strong ever since. Wow, so did you like grow up working in the store yes. and all that? I grew up working at the store. I went to Michigan State, so I really didn't plan on going into the business. It just mm -hmm. kind of happened that way. and. I've been doing it now for 24 years. Wow. Yeah. So That is such a great legacy. Yeah, it's nice. It That's is nice. Great. Thank you. So what does Connie's have to offer? Well, Connie's is 10,000 square feet of children's clothing and shoes. So oh, we're wow. basically a department store for kids. Wow. And um, we specialize in dressy clothes for kids. Mm -hmm. um, we do a very big First Communion business, uh, baptism and christening, mm -hmm. um, flower girls, suits for boys. Um, we also specialize in school uniforms. So okay. we clothe all the private and parochial schools on the east side. Wow. Yeah, so that's good. Yeah, I actually saw on your website that you have the uniforms listed by school. Yes. So a person could just click on whatever school yes. their child goes to mm -hmm. and all of the approved uniform items are right there. Exactly. It's, it's very easy um, and it's wonderful. And, and they can come into the store all year round to buy their uniforms. Mm -hmm. So we don't do any pre-ordering in advance. It's Everything's in the store, ready for them if they want to come in. If, they, if their child ripped their pants, one day they can come in the next and buy a new pair of pants. That's, so that's nice. great. Yeah. And that's wonderful that you guys specialize in special events mm -hmm. because I have had the hardest time finding things for Easter mm -hmm. and all those types of things. And also, um, I used to work at a big name department store. Okay. I won't say the name. <laughs> okay. Um, but customers would come in often and we would not have a lot of christening outfits. Yeah, we um, get a lot of referrals from those big stores. Yeah. People say, oh, so-and-so recommended me because we carry, we carry the hard to find things. Exactly. Things that people can't find anywhere else. Exactly. So it's nice. Now I have to ask, yes. I have two boys. What is your boys department like? Because that is the hardest thing. <laughs> I know, poor boys. <laughs> You know, I try really hard. I'm the buyer, so okay. I really do try hard to find really cute, nice things for boys. And we do specialize in the nicer things for boys. So okay. you would be able to come into my store and find nice Easter outfits, okay. Christmas outfits, suits, mm -hmm. special things you can find at my store. Playwear for the boys, it gets a little bit tricky. See, so there's plenty of that. So right. what you guys offer is great because there's play clothes all over the place. Yeah, we do a, a nice job in our boys' department for the dressy clothes because you can't find it anywhere. That's awesome. Yeah. So you also said that you guys have like a full shoe store also mm -hmm. for children, right? Yeah, we carry all the name brands. Stride Right, Skechers, Kenneth Cole. I know there's more, but I can't think of them right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. Okay, so talk to us a little bit about trends in children's fashion right now. Well, I think right now, since we're going into spring, I'm finding, especially in the girls' department, obviously, it's a lot of prints, a lot of okay. bold prints, a lot of flowers, mm -hmm. uh, bright colors. 
So that's what I'm finding in the trends. Okay, good. Yeah. So another thing yes. that I love about your store and your website is that you have an entire section on Detroit gear yes. for children. Talk to us a little bit about that. That's very unique. Well, the thing about Michigan or Detroit is that we're such big sports fans and yeah. we're such a big sports town that um, we get a lot of people looking for sports t-shirts, Red Wings, mm -hmm. Michigan, Michigan State, yeah. you know, Tigers. So we... Socks or, or pacifiers. Pa yes, pacifiers, <laughs> bibs, um, little outfits, t shirts, sweatshirts. So we have a whole little area set up for all the Detroit sports. That is so great. Yeah, it's nice. It's fun. So, do you guys also have a gift department? Well, we have lots of like stuffed animals. Okay. You know, lots of um, things that you can tie on top of a package. We do a lot of gift wrapping. Um, oh, really? Yeah. So what is the size range that you guys carry for girls and boys? On the girls department, it's newborn to size 16. Oh, and, that's good. Yeah, and in the boys department, it's newborn to actually, we carry up to some size 20s. Oh. And we also carry Huskies and Slims for the boys. That for the boys. is wonderful. Yeah, it is good. So um, I would say about 12 to 13 years old okay. is about the age that it you know stops. Mm -hmm. So, and again, depending on size, we get some 14 and 15 year olds that still sneak in if they're, you know, petite. Yeah. So. That's awesome. So yeah. accessories, what do you guys carry for accessories, especially for girls? Tons of hair accessories. Okay. I mean, I could sell, I could close down the store and just sell hair <laughs> accessories. We sell so many hair bows and uh, headbands. Yeah. Uh, lots of hair accessories. We sell some jewelry. Okay. Uh, like right now we have communion bracelets and necklaces for the mm -hmm. girls, crosses. Um, okay. What other accessories? Boys ties. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Those are really yeah, hard to those find. Those are hard to find. We sell a lot of, sell a lot of ties um, and obviously tights and socks. Oh, and slips. We sell girls slips. Get out of town. <laughs> Which it's true. So many people come that's in, they're like, rare. I've looked all over <laughs> for a girl slip. We carry girl slips. That is so, great. Do you yeah. guys carry the full slips also? Poofy, straight, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> now what about baseball caps and hats for boys? Uh, we carry some baseball caps. Um, honestly, there's a sports store right next door to me. Oh, okay. So I don't get too much involved in that, but um, we have some cute caps and of course winter hats. Okay. You know. So good. Yeah. I'm so excited. Thank you. you guys have so much. Yes. Um, yes. And like you said, it's great that you guys cater to those hard to find items. Yes. That's good. So tell our viewers where your store is located, the phone number, and sure. then web address. We're at 23200 Greater Mac in downtown St. Clair Shores. Okay. Um, our phone number is 586 777 8020. And you can find us online at shop. Connie's.com. Awesome. Yeah. You guys can have a great time shopping on their website too. They have a great, great selection online. Thank you. So thank you so much for coming You're on. You're welcome. This Thanks for really having exciting. me. You're yeah. welcome. And stay tuned. Up next we'll have a great interview with Kai Davis. Welcome back to the Michigan Style Channel. I am sitting here with Kai Davis of Kai Davis Photography. Welcome, Kai. Hi, thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming on the show. I'm really excited. Thank you for having me. I am too. <laughs> Good. So tell me how you got started in photography. Well, I, um, I've always been an artistic um, kind of girl. Um, I love to create things with my hands, whether it's drawing, make, you know, drawing, doing jewelry making. Oh, wow, I didn't know you were an artist also. Yes, I started all way back when I was a little girl, and so I've been, um, you know, starting with the drawing and sketching, and then mm -hmm. um, after I got married, I started making jewelry, and I did a little hobby with that, and um, it was right after the birth of my son mm -hmm. uh, is when I decided, or I realized that I had a passion for photography. Wow. You know, when you take pictures of your children, most moms love to do that. Yeah. You have, you know, cameras full or computers full of images or maybe albums full of images. Exactly. And so I remember grabbing some equipment that I bought, you know, when I first said, oh, I think I want to do a little photography. Um, and I took the equipment um, into my son's 
room, his nursery, and I ended up putting um, the lights into his crib, a backdrop. <laughs> it was really weird. <laughs> My husband was like, what is she doing? <laughs> and so I placed it, um, you know, placed them and I posed them and I took a few photos and I'm like, this is nice. And then I started going from there and I'm a self-taught photographer. Wow. I know excellent. a lot of people, um, some even professionals ask me how long I've been shooting and everything I have learned, I've learned myself. Wow. No schooling, so it's been um, it's been an amazing, you know, journey, and I I'm excited to see where it takes me. That but is I love so it. Great. <laughs> so you just have done research and read some books, or research, hands-on trainings. Mm -hmm. um, hands-on trainings are you know something that I've used, uh, where the photographer is a bunch of different specialists in different mm -hmm. areas of photography, and we'll go in and we'll get to you know models, and we'll get to get hands-on with that. So. So it's wow. amazing, and then books, a lot of internet resources. Yeah, yeah a lot. Is so I have great. Googled the mess <laughs> out of the internet, but yes. <laughs> that is so great. So you seem to specialize in children's photography. What is it about children that captures your artistic vision? Uh, children have a sense of character that is beyond. It's amazing, you know. Whether if they come in or pouting or they're smiling or they're you know just excited I, I, I believe that um, when booking a session with mom I, I stay very close with um, having consultations uh -huh. and that way we can talk about what to wear uh -huh. we talk about um, you know just a vision of what mom's looking for mm -hmm. and after that phone call I sit down at my desk and I plan the session out okay. um, whether it's a, if it's props um, I do make most of my props okay I uh, you know backdrops or headbands I love to make little boutique headbands for my oh, clients and the little lace rompers it just gives mom that different look setting yeah. apart from any commercialized place that they will go to mm -hmm. um, so I you know I like to do a session planning so I can take a teepee in the middle of an open field and put vintage props out and yeah. then snap that shot because I want mom to look at that image and be able to look back and remember that moment mm -hmm. and let it last them a lifetime of memory. So That's awesome because when I look at your work, I really see that you put a lot of time and effort into it and lots of planning and it, your pictures really stand out, like they really seem special. So when a mom gets those pictures, in her album that's something really special that yeah. she'll be able to cherish. That's my goal. <laughs> that's nice. Yes. That's really nice. So, like you said, parents love to take pictures of their children. And all of our pictures are not as great as yours. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are some tips on lighting and camera position that you can give us to kind of take our pictures up to the next level? Um, well, making sure that there is enough lighting in a room. Um, mm -hmm. If you're, if you have your, you know, if you sit your children on the couch, and you have a table lamp. It, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes it's nice to take off that shade, um, mm -hmm. just to get a little bit more lighting in a room. Okay. Um, also, you, you know, most cameras have a built-in flash, mm -hmm. um, so I would suggest using that. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, positioning your children. I know um, I had a mom ask. Now, how do you use this thing? And she said, you know, every time I take a photo, it's going this way or it's going yeah. or I'm cropping out heads. And so I tell them to take their time. It's never a rush when you're taking a photo, looking through the lens mm -hmm. and, you know, making sure you're not cropping. I know it gets a little hard when you're talking into those terms, but making sure that your image is straight and then taking your photos. I mean, candid shots are the best shots. Yeah. You know? And those shots where you get that little grin or that little expression that we only know, mm -hmm. you know, mothers only know. And you say, yeah. oh, there's my baby. I love when she does that. So. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Now that's sweet. So I heard also that you should get like eye level mm -hmm. with the child too. Is that? Eye level is very important. Um, in most of my sessions, especially outdoor sessions, mm -hmm. I'm usually on the ground okay. or I'm usually at their level. I've even, you know, I found myself in dirt or water before to get that perfect shot mm. of that child, especially if they're running from you and they're nervous, <laughs> you know, and they're grabbing, you know, they run from you and they grab dad's leg, you know, yeah. so I'll, I'll get up close where it's not that intimidating mm -hmm. and you take that shot. So eye level is very important. Good. Yeah. So what about um, outdoor pictures? I heard you mention that. What are some tips on that, like time of day, when is it best, when is it not? Outdoor photos, um, I usually, if I'm doing a session outdoors, I will go right before the sun takes its highest peak. You okay. know, So right before the sun really rises, mm -hmm. you know, 
really because what happens is if you have sunlight you get a lot of direct sunlight mm -hmm. which will cause your photo to look blurry okay. or even washed out okay. and so I usually work with the sun behind me mm -hmm. but not directly so if you're going to take your photo and you got a bunch of sunbeams and it looks good through your camera but when, once you take that photo it's either washed out too dark or yeah. too you know sun rays and it doesn't help the photo yeah um, so I would say maybe in a shaded area um, an area where it's sunlight coming through but not so much so much light okay okay so right before the sun peaks is the best time right okay good so this is a hard one okay <laughs> how do you get the child to actually cooperate especially in those toddler years when they just want to defy you with everything <laughs> <laughs> the toddler years are the I know it all years yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is very important um, once my clients come and they arrive on location, mm -hmm. I make sure that I am welcoming, warm, okay. uh, with a high pitch, not so scary. You know, I never come to the door um, or location with my camera in hand. The okay. child wants to know what you're about. Okay. And um, I'll smile, I'll talk to mom and dad, and I'll kind of peek over. Eye contact is very important. With children? When I, yes. Okay. When, if I don't get the child's eye contact, I'm going to have to work very hard. Mm -hmm. And usually it takes them a little time to warm up if they come in and they are just waking up from a nap. Um, mm -hmm. During consultation, I'll ask mom, what is the best time, you know, around nap time, right before nap time or after nap time? Yes. It's best to get them um, very energetic and ready. Mm -hmm. uh, so eye contact is very important. Okay. Um, I'll usually, you know, tell them how beautiful they are, I'll call them princess, or hey, superhero, are you ready to take some awesome pictures? Yeah. And you get their attention and they're either bubbly or they're, you know, still kind of figuring you out. And so once we get them on set, um, my assistant or mom will be there and, and we'll get you know get the child on set I'll pop my flash just to get the reaction okay I have uh, many tools that I use uh, you know I have a high-pitched sound that's very awkward <laughs> that <laughs> I you use make yourself? I do okay. <laughs> um, to get their attention I may pat on the ground or um, I have squeakies okay. or um, a pom-pom I have a okay. little pink handheld pom-pom oh, and I'm, I'm gonna idea. tickle you or I'm gonna tickle mommy once you tickle mommy they get so excited and they go <laughs> tickle me <laughs> so I get you know get their attention that way and that way we can just flow with the session if they okay. need a break I always tell mommy go pick your baby up and hug her yeah or go you know give them a break so they can come back right at it. When they start to check out, that's when I start wrapping up the session. You know, because you never want a child to get checked out to the point where they don't want to do it again. Right. Because there's milestones. You know, yeah. you have your nine months and, you know, moving on to birthdays and different things like that. And so exactly. You don't want ever want your child to be afraid of the camera. So. Okay. Good. So planning it around nap time mm -hmm. and using different toys and noises to get their attention and kind of make them laugh and make them relax. Right. And most of the little ones, um, when I bring a tutu out, or, you know, they love that. The little they girls. feel like a princess, and yeah. so they get to twirl around and do their dance. And yeah. Like, you know, can you dance with me? And that's the best shots, you know, just to get them in their little princess mode. Yeah, <laughs> so that's it's so fun. sweet. So those are great tips. Um, tell our viewers how they can get in contact with you. Well, um, I place most of my information on Facebook. Okay. Any session that I do, I upload them very fast. I think media, social media is amazing. Yeah, um, it so is. You, yeah, I love it. <laughs> you can reach me at um, Facebook slash um, backboard slash Kai Davis Photography. Okay. Um, also, you can reach me at www.onlinepictureproof.com. Okay. Backward slash Kai Davis Photography. Okay. And then my contact information, my phone number is 248-508-3229. Okay. Thank you so much, Kai. <laughs> Thank you. So keep watching. We are going to have a little photo session with Kai Davis and some children modeling clothes from Connie's Children's Shop. Keep watching. There's only one way a champion long jumper can clear an entire herd of elephants. When they've been butchered for their ivory, help put an end to the illegal wildlife trade before it's too late. 
Hello and thank you again so much for watching. We have had such a great time here today. I want to give a special thank you to Denise from Connie's Children's Shop and also to Kai Davis for doing such a great job and giving us those tips on taking cute pictures of our kids. If you want to contact us, you can email us at michigan-style-channel at gmail.com. And again, this is Sharina Monique reminding you that Michigan has style. I'm looking here. Looking here? You want to sit there? <laughs> Looking here, Sarah? Right here. Great job. Great job, girls. Eyes here? Great job. Ashley here? Okay, real quick, I want you to sit right here. Or you can stand. All right. Ash, you're on tape. Yeah.